Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Come, Christians, follow where our Savior trod, our King victorious, Christ the Son of God. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are merciful and forgiving. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may obtain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, because you are haughty of art, you say, A God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet you are a man and not a God, however you think of yourself like a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. But your wisdom and your talents and your intelligence you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God. Therefore, I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit there to die, a bloody corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say I am a God when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a God. Hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said, I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories, had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, fear that these foes would mistakenly boast. It is I who deal with death and give life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it, for they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal out death and give life. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight, unless it was because their rock sold them, and the Lord delivered them up? It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people, on his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death 
and give life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter into the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him, replied, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, you yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter into the kingdom of heaven. These words have always struck a chord in my heart because I realize that we live in one of the wealthiest nations of the world. Perhaps we don't have everything that we want. Perhaps we don't have that very large home with a bathroom for every child. Perhaps we don't have the latest cars or the newest technology or electronic gadgets. But we do have housing, food, water. And in many ways, when we think of some of the places of the world where children die each and every day because of no food, because there is no water, because there is no shelter from the scorching heat or the, the floods and the rain. It sometimes Thinks to me, because every time we hear of someone who is rich, we think of somebody else. We think of that person who has that mansion on the hill, who has a car for every day of the week. And yet sometimes I wonder, is the Lord speaking to us? We who are comfortable in life. Perhaps not having all the comforts, but are comfortable. And then I think the disciples asked that very question. Well, then, who can be saved? And then Jesus gives us that answer. He tells us that for men it is impossible, but for God there is nothing impossible. And so what that reminds us of is that we always have that gift of hope. And I think it's not the material possessions that we have, it's how we use the material possessions. It is first that we have to have an acknowledgement that those are gifts. That everything we have is a gift from God. And that gift is not meant for us to hoard as private treasure, but perhaps to share with the needy among us. For those who are hungry. For those who are homeless. For those who don't have medical care or attention. I think the Lord is inviting us to have a change of heart. That we may give to those who are in need. And realize how blessed we really are to live in this country, to live here at this time, to realize that
that for us it is impossible, but for God everything is possible. Let us place our needs before God. We pray for the church throughout the world, that she may preach the gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our world leaders, that they will work together for the common good, that they will care for the poor and the marginalized, and help build society justly. We pray to the Lord, let us, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life, from the moment of conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are homeless. We pray for the immigrant. We pray for the hungry. We pray for those without adequate provisions. We ask you, Lord, that you may move the hearts of your disciples to care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, those who are suffering, those who are oppressed, may they know the healing touch of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all your needs and intentions, that we bring to the altar today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, as he lives and he reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by, the, by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other that wave of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With the Lord there is mercy, in him is plentiful redemption. Let us make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the host of God in conquering ranks combine. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name.